welcome back to my channel. Let's get right into it. Today, I'm going to be working on my client. She has natural hair. As you can see, it's pretty long. She's kept it in for a while, and now she just wants to change after we sat at home. So I have twisted her hair, and I detangled and twisted her hair in this clip, and I am moving it out of the way so we can get the party started. Now, um, she's never covered, colored her hair before, and she's a hair color virgin. So I'm just going to break her virginity today and give her some nice color. We talked about colors that she could possibly get. She started off with getting like more of a magenta color, and now she's more so hoping to get something more in the red family, maybe a real, uh, real uh, bright red color. And I was really excited to just give her the look that she was looking for. I used my tried and tested Red King Flash Lift with the Bonder inside and also added Old Plex to my mixture just because she's a virgin. I don't want to necessarily mess up the integrity of her hair so much. And so I started off by taking like real small sections. I'm really trying to get every strand of her hair in, in these clips. And so it's every single strand I'm using. The only thing I'm doing in this coloring process is that I am leaving her roots out so she'll have a shadow root, which is mainly going to be her dark root. And so I'm taking small sections, trying to blur it through um, when it gets closer to her root, where I'm trying to leave it out so it doesn't leave these really harsh um, mark lines. Um, I'm putting some of the bleach on the foils even before I um, lay her hair on there. So that I can really get the maximum saturation that I'm looking for in every single um, section that I take. I'm going. I'm going through this. I was trying to do this really fast because I didn't want her hair to lift too quickly. And I'm using back. To, it's pretty much back to back sections, and I'm using a foil um, to give her a little bit of heat, so that we can get the maximum lift, lift that I'm looking for. So I pretty much took uh, took down every twist as I went up her hair. It was mainly horizontal sections, and I was just putting the bleach on the foil first. I guess, like I said before, to give her give me the maximum saturation of bleach that I need. And I kept it moving in terms of applying, saturating, and all of that stuff. When I got to the front sections, I was really saturating with my hands. And as you can see, I'm trying to blur it out so that it doesn't look too harsh when her hair is growing out. And I also use this brush that I have to kind of like saturate and make sure that I have every section saturated with the bleach. Also, I think I forgot to mention what type of developer I used. I used Reckon Reckon um, Peroxide 20 volume for this client. I didn't want her hair to lift too fast. And so I just used the 20 volume. It's just enough to get her hair to lift to what I wanted it to lift to. I didn't need to use anything um, higher than that because it wasn't necessary. And also I ended up like having to wash the back sections as they, um, they were processed and I moved on to the front sections. And 20 volume was just enough for me to do that. So in this clip, I'm completely done with all the foils. It's all completely covered. Give it some heat. And also, this is kind of where it got to in terms of lift. If you look at it, it's gotten light enough, but it's not super light because I just don't need her to be too light for, for me to attain the color that I wanted. In the next clip, you can see her hair. It's a perfect level seven, like how I wanted it. Um, for these red colors, level seven is perfect for what you need. I also used, um, the color I used was Joyco Ruby Red. And I used, she had a lot of hair, so I ended up having to use a whole lot of this Joyco color. I used about three tubes of the color. I squirted it in this bowl and then pretty much, um, applied to all sections of the hair after I had dried it out. It was important that I dry out before I add this color, um, apply this semi-permanent color. So if you look at these clips, I am completely done. It's nice and red and bright. She was very excited with the outcome. I was very excited with the outcome. And so pretty much 
Um, I washed her hair. Her hair is still wet and still dripping. She wanted me to twist it up. And so these pictures show how it looks like. And I ended up twisting it up for hair to leave the salon in some twists. I thought I was finished with her, but about a week later, she called me and told me that her job thinks her color is too bright and she needed it to be toned down. And so in this clip, I was just working out some ways to darken out her color. I color removed it first with a little bit of a, a bleach wash. Then I applied some more color to it to give her a very toned down color. I ended up using Pravana Chroma Silk Red and then added a lot of black to it. So that she can get the desired darker look. So it looks very dark in this clip. I was disappointed. She was disappointed. But we had to do it for the job. And so we ended up getting a much darker red color when she came back. And this is kind of how it looks like. It looks more like burgundy red at this point. It's not as bright before. But it still turned out really cute when you look at the the. You know, it's a toned down red. It's not as bright, but it's so cute. And I guess it's more acceptable for her job. I ended up doing, she didn't leave out and twist this time around. We used Mizani Miracle Milk and Mizani True Textures for styling her hair. And her wash and go look really good. Her hair has, her curl pattern has released a top bit. And so she was very happy about it. And she can now wear her wash and goes and not feel a certain type of way. Thank you so much for watching. I am done. And next time, we will talk again. Bye.